Hey y'all, it's your girl Chuck. This is day 12 of our 100 miles in 30 days, y'all. We are 50.2 miles in this thing. So today we are at the Robert L. Smith Park over off of Little Rock Road on the west side of Charlotte, right near the airport, y'all. So this is basically just a park, but it was close to us, so we're just trying to get somewhere different new and fast because the sky just may fall down on us as you can see this clouds but we missed the past two days because of these clouds we've been scared of these clouds for the past couple days so we've been like all right well just stay in and do some sit-ups and stuff so we're back on track today y'all how is it going how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yep, I've been doing a little bit of crafting for the past couple days too. Learning how to make waist beads and stuff like that. Something just to keep my mind occupied. Oh dang. We didn't notice that we could have walked on the um, little sidewalk part. We're walking on the grass. So we about to jump on this sidewalk trail though. That's what's up. So it's our first time, so we didn't see it. So we're gonna go ahead and get on track now. You know, that happens in life. Sometimes we think we see something that we want or the way we want to go, and we go that way, and that's not actually the way we should be going. But the trail is right ahead, and we just jump on it and keep moving, because that's all you can do in life is keep moving, keep on pushing, move it up moving on hey yep that's what you gotta do you gotta just keep your life moving in order yep i didn't even weigh myself in the past two weeks y'all so i don't even know how much i lost if i lost any but i know i toned up a lot now my face went down a lot and my waist my little arm fat <laughs> isn't as bad it's getting there we're getting there I found some little workouts to do for the past couple of days to try to work my arms and back. Starting a little beginning stage of Pilates, which is cool. No, got to try different stuff. I got to stay active. Y'all hear the geese flying by? There must be some water there here that we don't know about. But yep, it is a beautiful day. Nice and breezy and cloudy though it's not it's not sunny but it's cool it's still ongoing we're still moving we living out here y'all <laughs> so what do y'all think about these places that has already opened up what are your views on that are you at home like, man, I wish Charlotte would open back up or wherever you're at? Are you sitting around looking like, hey, I wish we could open back up? I mean, I could get my nails done, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> Them things are grown up and I can't find no isotone, acetone anywhere. So, <sighs> I'm just thugging it out right now. Thankfully, they're all still attached and everything. So, I don't have to worry about that. But... I would like them done though. Get a good feeling, but, and not at the cost of dying trying to go get it. I mean, I'll soak these things up before that happens. That's not necessary. And they probably got on, um, Amazon, but I have not even actually looked on there because I was trying to do it the quick way. So, you know what happens when you want things like the microwave, throw it up, pop it in there, pull it out. Whenever I go on Amazon, I'm not even looking at stuff like that no more. Anyway, I found this new um, app called Vipon, V-I-P-O-N. So it's like a virtual coupon for Amazon, which is cool. I've been finding stuff that's like on Amazon for $70, $100, and I was getting like for $30 and $15, big discount. I mean, it's like 90% off. So... I love to save some dang on money, y'all. I feel good. I'm the one who likes to get something. 
I like to get an outfit for five dollars, <laughs> ten dollars. I feel good about wearing an outfit. I take pay five or ten dollars for a shoot. It makes me feel like, yeah, I'm not that one. I'm like, man, I paid a thousand dollars for these boots. No, I like to pay a thousand dollars for a car though. <laughs> yes, I'm cheap, but I know somebody gonna be like, that thousand dollar car gonna break down. But if I had to pay one or two thousand dollars to get it fixed, okay, so. I'm not paying ten thousand or thirty or forty thousand dollars for the car. You know what I'm saying? When I get some, when I get up in the millions, then I'll get me a forty or fifty thousand dollar car. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but that's me. I like to buy me a little car, not more than fifteen hundred dollars, and cross my fingers, get it fixed. Look at the geese, y'all. Out here just to stroll and mind their business. Yes, it's dinner time. They all congregate together to eat. <laughs> all in one. They are one. Hey. Yep. That's how we need to get, y'all. We need to be a unity like that. Get together. Get us a community going. And get moving. On opening up our own everything. Have our own money. Have our own banks. Have our own food distribution. Have our own nail salons. Our own hair salons. Where people are treating each other with respect. That's the only bad thing. About trying to get your hair and nails done. Well my hair I really don't have a problem with. My, I've never really had a problem with the person doing my hair. But nails like... I don't understand why I have, haven't been able to find a real good black nail technician who, we'll do one more. I think we can do one more, yeah. So, um, I haven't been able to find a real good black nail technician. Or it's hard to actually invent, spend money with black people because sometimes they'll, you want to go around here? Because the sidewalk goes all the way around. That's what I was saying on here. I found that out at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, you know, somebody who is, seems like people don't appreciate you spending money with them no more. I, that's the whole thing that I don't like. And, you know, I've been wanting, wanting to be proved wrong by this a lot, but you go places and they be like, okay, they don't say, hey, you come in. I'm like, hey, how you doing? They just be staring at you when you come in all crazy. Then they want to look at you like you're stealing something just as bad as going to a dang on um, Chinese place or dang on another place. But at least they are a little bit more happy that I'm coming over to spend the money. Whether I mean, get my nails done. I can't. I had to go through all these hoops and loops to try to get them done. And then you want to say, okay, no, I want to take these off. I want to charge you a hundred dollars. And no, I just want to get a fill in real quick because I don't really have time to do it. And I mean, it's just. I've had bad experiences with it. I'm talking about myself. So hopefully after this, I'll be able to be proved wrong because I am going to try to spend all my money with my community after this because I want us to be great. I want us to build up and I want us to be one, a real tight unit together. So, yeah, so that's what I plan on doing. Hopefully I will be able to succeed in it. And I mean, as much as I love to get my nails done, I love my nails. I might have to learn how to do my thing myself. <laughs> Cause I mean, it's sad. And even if I look back at how much money I spent outside of my community, it's crazy. I spent a lot of money on going out to eat, going out to drink and stuff. And none of that money is going back to none of my people really, except like at, um, I do, um, go to a couple clubs that are black. But besides that, majority of the time, my food, I'm ordering the food, is from a non, nobody that's in our community. Um, get my nails done by somebody not in my community. I'm buying the hair from somebody that's not in my community. So nobody in my community is actually getting any benefits from me spending my money. And that should change. You know, I should be able to find somebody who would appreciate me coming and spending my money with them and showing that 
and us being able to bind together and form a community within each other. That's what the whole goal is. Hopefully, we can start that movement, that Unite movement, you know? Yeah, so that's one of my goals, one of my things I plan on doing. Hopefully, what are y'all's goals? What are you coming up with? What are things that you're going to change after this is over with? What are some things that you plan on doing differently that you plan on allowing to grow, change, become? Those are some things you probably should be thinking about. If you haven't been thinking about that, what have you created? What have you learned about yourself during this time? Because you've had a lot of time to know, man, I didn't know I didn't really like this. Or I didn't know that we really weren't that good of friends. Or I didn't really notice how this person really was not helping me or did not have my back as much as I was having their back. How, what are you noticing? What are you growing into? What are you changing? What are you believing? What are you receiving? What are you leaving? What are you letting go of? Because you got to let go of some stuff now. I was listening today to E.T. And I know I probably talk about him all the time. But now you know who my influence is at this point in time. Is I have changed the people, you know, the things I watch. Even though I've always watched like Abraham Hicks. She's very inspirational, motivating. She helped me learn a little bit more about the law of attraction. And then Les Brown is very motivating. I always listen to him when I would get ready for work. Whenever I would get ready to do something, I would put on him. And then E.T. happened to pop into the rotation. So I was like, yo, let me, this guy, I think I was in the bathroom or something. I was getting out of the shower and I could hear him while I was in the shower. And I got out of the shower and I came in. I said, let me look at this TV and see exactly who this is that's on here talking or whatever because he's very inspirational. He's very motivating. He was making me say, I better get up and do it. <laughs> you know, and he has this saying, he's going to how many lists does it take to get to a sucker? I mean, really, and I can't say it like the way he said it because I'm not him and I can't repeat exactly how he did it. But the way he said it, it made you wake up and look around like, dang. How long have I been a sucker? <laughs> you know, because we all have been one. We all have been one for somebody, for something, for some time. And if you're still being that sucker, then it's time to change. It's time to stand up. It's time to build a little bit more confidence within yourself and say, I am nobody's sucker. I'm not. I'm going to be great in, within myself, within my being. And I'm going to move forward in what would make me 100, would make me whole. And so we're gonna, some of us are going to have to dig deep, deeper than others. But the thing is, you need to start digging. You need to start looking within. You need to start seeing, like, what, what am I here for? What is my purpose? What is my life supposed to be about? What is something that I can do every day? And if I get paid for it or if I don't get paid for it, I'm going to get up and say, hey, today's the day. Let me go do what I got to do to make it through this day. You know, that's how I hurry up when I'm about to go to work. I'll get up and I get dressed and I listen to my Les Brown and my Eric Thomas. And I just get myself motivated in my headspace for me to be able to have a positive, productive day. You know, because that day has got to be positive and productive because I have to got to exceed. I have got to succeed. <laughs> I do have to exceed, though, <laughs> but I have to succeed. I have got to make this day count for everything because how I am, however I come across, that's how I made my money. I can't come in like, I hate this day. What you want to drink again? <laughs> Okay, gosh, they get on my nerves. If they call me one more time for a dang on drink, I'm so tired of these dang on people. It's just, ugh, how much money do you plan on? <laughs> you think somebody gonna be wanting to give me some money and I'm acting like that now? I might get a dollar. They might say, okay, I'm gonna give you a dollar. Look at all these animals out here, y'all. The rabbits running around. 
everybody's kind of free right now. But yeah, I mean, nobody's gonna be one of only people who know me. But like, all right, I know Shock having a bad day, you know, so I'm just go ahead and get her a couple dollars and let her go. But man, I go to work with a headache, with a body ache. I have uh, gallstones. I don't have been in pain, and I'm sitting there trying to smile through it. <laughs> you know, I'm some people would be able to read it and be like, "Nah, I can see the pain in your eyes," but they wouldn't be able to know know that I'm in pain. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing. You have got to come when you come out. You got to be ready. So that means you have got to be in the house. You got to be making yourself 100 percent, feeling yourself, knowing that you are going to have a productive day because you're the one who decides I'm going to be happy today. You're the one who decides I'm going to be prosperous today. You're the one who decides everything. So since you're the one who decides it, stop holding yourself back and do it. Just get out there and do it, y'all. All right, well, we're going to walk this thing one more time and head back out. I think we're going to make it without the rain. It looks like it's just getting dark. So hope you have a great, prosperous day and i will see y'all later i cannot wait to see you <laughs>